Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Vesperia. This is your host, River Foxen, and now we're going to try and get to the bottom of uh, what's going on here. It seems it doesn't matter how much money I have, no ships are leaving, and that's that. I've made my peace with it. Without experiences like this, it's impossible to find out how the common folk live. Traveling as I normally do, I'd never have a, the chance at such an important experience. I guess that's a healthy outlook. Ha ha ha! Let's just take it easy, eh? Life is short. It should be spent in comfort. I'm not scared of the magistrate. I'm a noble. That's a little less healthy. Let's see. I tell you, this is one mean world. Heh. I guess that's not much of a welcome. Anyway, wanna stay? It's 300 gold a night. Yes, I kind of need to. Thank you. Come again. Alright, now we're all full up. Let's see. Yeah, we're just going to barge in on them. All finished? And are we done whispering secrets? I've heard your story up until this point, Yuri. And also the reason for the bounty on your head. First off, I owe you my thanks for protecting her. Oh, I've been meaning to express my gratitude as well, Yuri. It's nothing. I was already out searching for that Blastia thief. And that's where we have a problem. Hmm? Regardless of the circumstances, the Imperial law cannot allow the obstruction of officers, jailbreaking, and trespassing. I'm sorry. I'm afraid I told him everything. Don't be sorry. I mean, I did all that stuff. Then I assume you are prepared to receive the punishment your actions deserve. Flynn! Do whatever you like, but just listen a minute, will you? So you can tell me how it was all done in order to get back the lower quarters Blastia Corps? That's what you wanted to say, right? Sir Flynn, I have news! What is Rita doing here? I heard you refused an Imperial request for assistance. Do you think it's all right for a mage employed by the Empire to simply abandon her obligations? Who's that? Got me. Huh, whatever. It's not like I care a whit about you either. I'll make the introductions. This is my second in command, Sodia. This is Witcher. A mage who offered his assistance to us at the laboratory in Ospio. This is my- You! Sir, it's the criminal from the Wanted poster! At ease, Sodia. He is a friend of mine. What? But sir, he's a wanted man! I've just heard his story. While he is guilty of minor crimes, the warrant for his arrest contains false accusations. Later, I will return him to the capital and explain the situation. And he will receive his due punishment. My... my mistake, sir. Witcher, let's have your report. So we're done here, right? I believe the ongoing rain and wind are being caused by a Blastia. The weather in this season is unpredictable, but this does not explain why it worsens whenever boats leave port. We also have testimony that something like a Blastia was carried into Magistrate Rago's residence. I've never heard anything about a Blastia that controlled the weather. Nothing like that has ever been excavated. Wait. The Aqua Blastia, the ruins... It couldn't be. So his lordship, the Magistrate, is using a Blastia to control the weather. It appears that way, though we can't yet say for certain. The harbor has been closed due to weather. Any ship that leaves is fired on for disobeying the ordinance. So much for crossing over to Torum. Those aren't the only rumors surrounding the Magistrate. He's released a monster known as Ribgoro into the wild, and amuses himself by forcing those who can't pay their taxes to hunt it. He claims he'll pardon their taxes if they can manage to capture the beast. How cruel! That injured couple we met near the entrance must be two of his victims. And their child! What? What happened to their child? 
Forget about it. Well, it's been a hell of a day for us and we're tired. Let's just stay at this inn for the night. But we already did. Also, we can't forget about a certain missing person. Missing person? I think she means you. Alright. Who's this suspicious looking fellow? Ooh, I've had this stomachache since yesterday. Ooh. She's just blocking the door. It's locked. So what's the plan? I'm gonna go see Magistrate Rago. What? We'll get turned away at the gate if we try to go there. Even a noble woman like you would have no chance of getting in. Yeah, but with the harbor barricaded, we can't cross over to Torum Harbor. And that thief Tadeki, along with that one-eyed giant, are both on the other side of the water. Let's stop blabbing about it and just go, why don't we? If you won't listen to what we have to say, we can think of another plan. All right. Let's head to Rago's palace then. No matter how you slice it, Flynn is Flynn. He's even more stubborn than before. <laughs> you think so too, Repeat? <laughs> well, at least he seemed to be doing all right. Hmm. Not in business, then why are you hanging out here? Someone's being murdered. Dice Master's house. Oh, excuse me, young lady. Can I? Can you spare a minute or two? Huh? You mean me? Yes, yes, indeed. You think you might want to play a little stone-taking game with me? To make it interesting, I'll give you a nice present if you can beat me. What do you say? Hmm, well, why not? But are you sure? I'm pretty good at that kind of game. Ho ho, excellent! I've been looking for an opponent to give me a challenge. They call me the master. I won't go down without a fight. <sighs> Do we really have time to be sitting and playing games? Hmm, let's play a game. Don't worry, I'll make short work of this geezer. Just wait and see. Ho ho! Well then, shall we begin? Hmm. Guess the sum of three dice. Huh. Well, this is just a 50 50 chance. Frankly, after all that big talk, I was expecting a more impressive showing. What? No, no, you've got it all wrong. I'm just feeling a little under the weather is all. Oh ho, feel free to come back for a rematch when you're feeling better. Hmm. I guess the Empire likes to throw its weight around no matter where you go. Before I left the capital, I didn't know or care about anything besides the lower quarter. It's not everywhere, but I feel like the Empire's influence is especially strong on Elikia. They can do whatever they want since there aren't any major guilds on Elikia. We can't just let it stay this way. Oh, I hit the button. Let's play. Well, I don't know. Let's try high. Hello? That looks high. <laughs> what happened, genius mage? Sh shut up, you. Oh ho, all that anger isn't gonna help you win. 
Hmm. Oh, there's a doggy. Surveyor is killed. Oh, let's see. Suggested synthesis. Market. Scarf plus one. Looks like that's the only thing I have that I can make. Let's just see if there's anything to buy. I have a Francisca a Morning Star. Heavy mall. There, let's grab these two things. Grab one bon bronze circlet and one armit. Oh man, there's a lot of stuff now. Two chain mail, one breast guard, one silk cloak, and one thief's jacket. Taxes are high and the shop is not profitable. Could you please buy more? I just bought so much stuff. Alright. Yeah, I didn't buy anything for him there. I did buy... Oh, he's already... Got an armit helm. Oh, I bought that for somebody else, I think. Did buy him chain mail. Bought him a thief's jacket. Bought her. Now she's using a rapier, just making sure that there isn't any like skills that I needed her to get from that. But she's got them. And a bronze circlet and the best guard. He has. Okay, I need to actually equip this to get the evade skill. And then we're gonna put on a silk cloak. And then you got a heavy mole and an armit helm and chainmail. the magistrate can do whatever he wants really leaves a bad taste in your mouth looks like there's bound to be a few power mad imperials no matter where you go what we saw on the way into town here and that happened all the time back in the lower quarter i'm glad i live outside the empire i don't think i could stand this very long why would the magistrate do these things hey we don't need to let the bad vibes in this city rub off on us exactly all right All right, so I guess we're heading over towards the magistrate. What's over here? Oh, this is a dead end. There's a kitty cat. Wanted. Vicious fugitive at large. Dressed in black with front buttons open. Male. Long black hair. If seen, contact the Imperial Knights at once. I wonder who that is. Let us walk in the front. What do you want? I'd like to meet with Magistrate Rago if you'd be so kind. Yuri, these men are mercenaries. I wonder what guild they're from. I guess that explains the thuggish look. <laughs> Go home, Scram! The Magistrate is a busy man. Surely not too busy to rough up the people in this town. Hey, you better watch your mouth, punk. See? I told you he wouldn't see us. Let's get out of here before things get sticky. I'd have to agree with Captain Carroll on this one. But there must be some other way. 
Forget it. Let's go. We'd best leave the frontal assault on the palace to the Imperial Knights. But isn't the fact that that's going so badly precisely what's got Flynn in such a bad mood? Huh. Maybe he'd see us if we came bearing gifts, so to speak. A gift? What do you mean? The Rib Guru. It's worth a fair amount of money, right? Come to think of it, that official mentioned the Rib Guru. He said that someone with its horn would never have to worry about taxes again. If we brought something that valuable, the Magistrate would at least grant us an audience. You propose to catch the Rib Guru? This is our chance! It's raining, after all! What does rain have to do with it? The Rib Guru comes out of hiding when it's raining! Out of all the monsters I know, it's the only one that goes out in the rain. Capital observation, Captain Carroll. What else? What do you mean, what else? That's all there is to it. So where's the Rib Guru now? Uh... Uh... Just as I thought. Well then, let's go talk to the people in town and get their side of the story. Are you okay with this, Estelle? Yes, Yuri. If we're unlucky, this could put all of us on the wrong side of the law. The one who makes the laws in this town is his lordship, the Empire's Magistrate. You be okay with defying him? I'm going with you. You're okay with it then? Yes. Rita, you don't have any problems with it? I have to say, I'm incredibly interested in a Blastia that can control the weather. Then it's decided. So then, let's seek out the Rib Guru first. Hmm. Sounds like another boss fight coming up. Rib Guru horns are a vital source of k k uh, a really important medicine. That's what the woman doctor in glasses with the white wolf puppy was saying anyway. But who's a what's it? What Rib Guru? You're looking for ways to get out of paying taxes too? I have no idea. That's your problem. Hmm. Are you travelers? All right, yeah, we've already talked to her. Oh, rib gurus? They like dark places. That's why they only come out on rainy days. Hmm. Nothing new there. Oh, this guy's new. Maybe he says something. Rib gurus are monsters, aren't they? The monster may have been pregnant. Recently, rib gurus come out to breed when it rains. Hmm. Let's see if we can win this thing. Oh, back so soon? Ready for a game? Oh ho! Well then, shall we begin? All right. Let's go high. That is not high. That is as low as low as can be. I'm telling you, give up now. We're just going to keep losing. I can't stand it. I can't stand it. I can't stand it. Hmm. Perhaps I was wrong about you. I wonder if it's costing me money. Let's see. 30, 39. All right. Let's play a game. Let's go low. That looks high. Well, it doesn't cost any money, so... I'm gonna see if I can win it sometime, but I'll do it off... off-screen. You never could sit still, could you? Stop treating me like a little kid. Yuri, don't do anything reckless. 
I haven't done anything reckless since the day I was born. I'm just chasing after a Blastia thief. Yuri. You're the one who should ease up on trying to do the impossible, Flynn. Witcher, go and see if we can get the right to search Blastia Laboratories. <sighs> I thought leaving the capital would have changed him a little, but it seems like he's even more reckless than before. Flynn? Yuri's so single-minded when it comes to protecting others. He's willing to sacrifice himself to do it. I envy him for that, but I also worry that he'll take it too far. Come on, Estelle. Let's go. Yuri's gonna leave us behind. Right. We should be going now. Oh, by the way, Lady Estelise. Yes? How... how is it, walking around outside, free? I can't say everything's been perfect, but I realize that there are things I must do. And that makes me happy. It's been wonderful. Good. I'm glad to hear it. All right, this seems like a good place to uh, end the episode. So if you enjoyed this Let's Play, be sure to like and subscribe and click the bell icon if you're so inclined. And I'll see you later.